Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. This is the tutorial part two of Markdown in Visual Studio Code. So, what is the agenda of this session? In this session, we are going to see the compilation of Markdown file, means .md file, into HTML file file in Visual Studio Code. For this purpose, we need to perform these four steps, which are written in front of you in this notepad. We will perform these steps one by one. Let's get started. So the first step is installation of Markdown compiler. After that, we need to create a simple MD file. We will write some Markdown text. Then we will create task.json. Basically, this is build file, which there we will give some instruction to compile. Now just open your Visual Studio code and uh, we are going to perform this step one, the installation of the Markdown compiler. For this purpose, we are going to use node.js module and this is the basic extension markdown it. This is the popular one and the easy one I am using. And this is the command that we need to run on the terminal. Now here I am back and this is our project folder and we have simple one file demo.md. Now the next thing or the next step we have to perform. So go to here terminal, click on new terminal option. And at this place on terminal type this command npm install hyphen g markdown it so we are installing this extension globally so make sure you have npm installed and integrated here with this visual studio code if this is not installed please install it first then come back and continue with this step okay the installation is successful we got this message added six packages from one contributor or something. Okay, now step one is successfully completed. Now we are at the step two. In the step two, we need to create one MD file in Visual Studio Code. So I have already written one MD file which have which has some syntax. So if you are doing it first time, so simply you can create on this file icon and you can create the MD file with .md extension and write down some uh, markdown text. You can get this or a sample markdown text somewhere from the internet. So this is the simple one. Now the file is ready of we are moving on the step three. This is the important step. We need to create task.json file. In this file, we need to give some instruction for the compilation. I will explain you. So we will use these two things in this file. So how to create task.json? Let's do it. Okay, back here in the Visual Studio code. So go to the terminal and here we have the option configure tasks. Click on it. And at this drop down in the search, we have a few options so i will create the use the first one choose from the template okay guys then again we will get few more options we need to select the others the last one click on this once you click a file task.json will be created and added here in your workspace and you will find few lines of uh, code present in this json now we need to perform few changes in this file. So I will change the label because label is something like you are giving some name to your task. So I am uh, put this label at line number seven. So I replaced that default one. And uh, this is the command. And this is the command or you can say this is the instruction that we are trying to tell please Pick our demo.md file and convert it to sample.html file. The instructions are very clear. Very simple. This is input file. In my case, the file name is demo.md. So I have used this one. In your case, this may be different. So you can choose the file name that you have given. Okay. And this is the output file. So I have given the name sample.html. Now I just saved this. Now we are at the step four. In the step four, we need to simply run this build task. We call this task.json a build task. The same process. We need to go the terminal menu and then we have the option. Control shift B. 
or the option run task go to the terminal choose the run task and you will find the name of the task that you given this is the label name which will appear at this place click on it and you can choose any one of the option you can go the default one never scan the for the syntax when you click the task will execute we are getting this exception because we don't have uh, the access right to execute this script through the powershell by default this is restricted to enable this we need to give the permission we need to run one single command please check this so open the terminal and type this simple command set execution policy hyphen scope current user and then unrestricted press enter okay this is done so we have given the access to run our task.json in powershell or this script okay here we go now again we will go here in the terminal choosing run task and we are selecting this compile markdown our task and this is executed okay that error disappeared and we found the result we found the output here on the left hand side in the explorer this is our output file sample.html so this is our md and the converted file sample.html is ready in front of you look at this so what we have written in the demo.md file that is converted properly here as a html you can see we have used the bullet sign and uh, we are appearing with the list and we have some paragraphs we have a, a code tag a lot of things present here in the html form which were not easy to write for everyone okay so that markdown understanding so if you are using the markdown and this is providing you the very simplest way to write the formatted text for your website for uh, the other desktop applications and this is the web page that i have just converted and i have opened it here in this browser look at this the formatting is awesome so in my view md uh, this markdown is very useful thing if you are uh, writing very lengthy help page documentation pages or uh, creating some web pages so guys i hope you are clear on the compilation of the markdown file into html file inside the visual studio code and um, that's all for now if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and do subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching